This video will demonstrate how to add a source using RecordSeq. The first thing that you'll need to do is add the extension RecordSeq to your computer. Open a tab and search for the Google Chrome Web Store. Google Chrome Web Store. When you go there, the first one will talk to you about downloading Chrome, so it's the second one, um, Chrome Web Store. Go there, and in the search bar, type in record seek one word, record seek one word, and what will come up is this extension. Click Add to Chrome, and then click Add Extension. Record seek will now be on your address near near your address bar and be a usable for you whenever you want to attach a source from another website other than family search. So the source that I'm going to attach is for this Vivian Greer. You can see as you review her information, I don't have a birth date. The death date isn't very good. I've got a missing standardized death date and a missing birth and death years up here in my research help. I don't have any record hints and so I went to Ancestry wanted to see if Ancestry had any easy sources for me to find to help me with this person. When I clicked on it, Ancestry took me here and the second source that came up was for Vivian Ruth Greer and um, the death date was December 1910. You'll notice this one is December 1910 even though it has a 1912 as well. I went ahead and clicked once on it to look at what I have. Her father is Walter G and her mother is Ida May. So when I came back to Vivian, Walter G and Ida Mary, I, I'm going to assume that that's okay. That's the same person. And I could attach the source from this indexed record on Ancestry, but I prefer to go directly to the website and attach it from there. So I'm going to click this Go to Website, which will take me to Find a Grave. The thing that happens sometimes on Find a Grave is there will be pictures of the tombstone. This is really quite a beautiful tombstone that um, we have for Vivian. And um, I'm going to attach this record. Now I recognize some people would say Find a Grave isn't a great source in comparison to a death certificate or a birth certificate. But when you have a tombstone, it's going to be better than nothing that you, you have. And so I'm, I'm grateful for this source. What I do to attach it is I highlight the information from birth on down to uh, here will do. And then I come up to Record Seek, which is this blue little circle to the right of my address bar, and I click it once. It says, You want to create a source, where do you want to create it? And I say, I want to create it in Family Search. And then it shows me a brief overview of what my source is going to look like. The title, the URL that will be used, um, the citation for the source. And then uh, the part that I highlighted is here, describe the record in the notes. So if I hadn't highlighted that information, I still could have created the source. I just wouldn't have had the information that is on it as part of the notes. Well, once I like, I say that's the way I want my source to look, I go ahead and click Next, and then what I'm going to have to do is find Vivian to attach this source to her. I could do a search using her name and everything, but the easiest way is to go back to her person page and copy her ID number. And then I come back to the Record Seek Source Maker, click on this Search by Person ID, right click paste it and then do next and now it says oh so you want to attach it to Vivian Greer I say yes now the reason that I want to attach it is that it verifies birth and death information and then um, where a record hint will automatically tag for this one you have to manually tag it what tagging means is that the source will be put with the birth or death information as well as at the bottom of the page. And so I'm going to click name, I'm going to click birth, I'm going to click death, and I will click gender as well, and then I'll click close. 
and then I'll click create and attach. Now the source has been made and I am going to go ahead and close this and return to Vivian's page here. Now you'll notice that I still have no sources but all I have to do is refresh my page and that source that I just created will be on Vivian's page. I can go down to the bottom and look at it and I have a link that will take me to that find a grave source and here's the the notes that I had and the reason I like having it here is it's just a, without me having to open it up or anything I've got the birth date of 28 January 1896 and so I'll come back up here 28 January 1896 the computer gives me the correctly formatted information I come back down and I say where was that and I don't remember that it gave me a location it didn't and so then I, I'm going to remember December 16th, 1910. Um, I'll have to give the reason here. Verified on find a grave. And, and then click save. And now I want to go ahead and put in that um, 16 December and get rid of the 1912 and the computer will give it to me I take that I want to also standardize this and so I get Butler Bates Missouri United States and then I just say verified on find a grave and save it and that's all that you have to do to add a record hint from a, or to add a source from a site outside of a family search. You'll notice because I've added that information, we've already found two record hints that um, weren't available with the limited information I had before. So that's kind of neat.